Now, we upload the DAF file with the function points into the device. For that, we can use either DIGC5 or the new CProtect tools. In this video I'll show the upload process using CProtect tools. If you don't have the software yet, you can go to the CO's portal and download it. Log in with your user and password, accept the conditions, and then you are allowed to download the software. Extract the compressed files and find the folders and information contained. You don't need to install the software, but if you haven't installed DIGC5 in your computer and you want to use the USB connection, then you will have to install the USB driver. You find it under the CProtect USB setup folder. If you have DIGC5 in your computer, the driver is already installed, so you don't need to do anything additionally. So, now we can run CProtect tools and select the first option, Upgrade Device Functionality. Establish the connection via USB. You can see with this orange line that, that the connection with the device has been established. This is the long code, and right now the device is in fallback mode. Let's take a short look of our physical device, we see the firmware is the version 940. There is no configuration and no function points. In CProtect tools we are allowed to select the DAF file that we want to upload. Keep in mind, it has to match the serial number of the device that you are working with. And if you remember, we created this file with 264 function points. We upgrade the device by clicking on the arrow. The license file was successfully uploaded. Let's check our physical device again to recognize what has changed. It still has no configuration, but the function points have been increased to 264. Our device is ready to receive the configuration. Check out the next video to learn how to upload the configuration in CProtect tools. For more useful how-to videos on electrification and automation, go to siemens.com/protips.